welcome to the tips and tricks of chemistry. Today we are going to learn about the stability of carbocation. Let's first of all see how the formation of the carbocations takes place. In this example, as you can see that there is an example of CH3CH2Cl that is ethyl chloride. You can see that the chlorine being a more electronegative atom, the shared pad of the electron will get shifted towards the chlorine when the heterolytic cleavage takes place. So the chlorine will have a negative charge and the carbon will have the positive charge. And the such species is known as a carbocation. Carbocation is an electron deficient species and they are stabilized by the electron donating group and they are destabilized by the electron withdrawing group. Let's see the comparison between the stability of carbocations. As you are knowing that the carbocation stability is totally depending upon the electron donating groups. Higher the number of electron donating groups, higher will be the stability. Here the positively charged carbon is attached with 3 methyl group that is having the plus i effect. Plus i effect is nothing but the electron donating effect from the 3 direction. Here in this particular case, It is being attached with the 2 methyl group and it, the electrons being donated from the two directions. In this case, the positively charged containing carbon only attached with the one carbon and the electron is being donated from only one direction. Another idea of dealing with the, this particular stuff is by knowing the number of hyperconjugating structures. So, the number of hyperconjugating structure is totally depending upon the number of alpha hydrogen. The cation containing carbon attached with the three methyl groups. Here, from here you will have three alpha hydrogens. From this particular one, you will have three alpha hydrogens. And from this particular one, you will have three more alpha hydrogen. So in total, you will have nine alpha hydrogen. In this case, the positively charged containing carbon attached with two methyl group. So each of the methyl group will contribute with the three alpha hydrogen each. That is in total this structure which will be having the six hapa conjugating structures as it is having the six alpha hydrogen. In this case only one the carbocation is attached with only one methyl group. So it is having only three hydrogens that is three alpha hydrogen. So in total you will have three hyperconjugating structures. As you are knowing that higher the number of the hyperconjugating structures, higher will be the stability. So first one is more stable than second one and the second one will be more stable than the third one. Let's see the next one. In this case the cation containing carbon, the cation containing carbon is attached with one, two, three carbons. In this case, the cation containing carbon is attached with only one carbon. So, of course, this first one is more stable than the second one. Another idea of dealing with this stuff is using the hyperconjugation method. Here, you'll have three alpha hydrogen from this side. You'll have three alpha hydrogen from here and two alpha hydrogen from here. So, in total, you'll get 6 plus 2 that is 8 alpha hydrogen and from here you'll have only 1 alpha hydrogen. So it will be this particular structure will be having the higher number of hyperconjugating structure than this. So this is more stable than this. One basic idea you have to keep in your mind the hyperconjugating structure will take a upper hand than the inductor effect. So you have to first of all check the hyperconjugation, then only you have to check the inductor effect. Let's see the next one. In this case, in this particular compound, you can see the carbon containing the cation is a singly bonded compound. Here it is a doubly bonded carbocation and this is a triply bonded carbocation. You have to understand the fact this is a unique question. You have to, you have to remember that the higher the unsaturation with the carbocation, higher is the unstability. It means 
the singly bonded carbocation is more stable than the doubly bonded carbocation and the doubly bonded carbocation is more stable than the triply bonded carbocation. Let's check out the in this example as you can see that the oxygen and nitrogen are the electron withdrawing group. So in all the cases the electron withdrawing will take place. So you have to understand the concept of inductive effect here you have to see the criteria of distance here the distance will have the higher priority than number of atoms and number of atom will have the higher priority on the power so first of all we have to check distance then we have to check number of atom then you have to check power if the distance is less then the ox then the oxygen or nitrogen will be able to withdraw more electron so it will unstabilize that carbocation so let's check about so the one which will be having at the higher distance will be more stable so we have to check at the higher distance first so nitrogen is at the higher distance than the carbocation here and oxygen is at the higher distance these two cases then after checking the distance you have to check the number of atom the number of atom is one only here in this case only one nitrogen in this case one oxygen then you have to check the power the power of oxygen is more than the nitrogen so nitrogen can withdraw less so the stability of nitrogen will be greater than the oxygen part okay then after seeing the distance in this particular case you can see here the distance is same but the number of atom in this case weighs more so it 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 will withdraw more so the stability of the second is more than the fourth one 